Welcome to Vlog in America, where the journey never ends. I created this channel to document my travels around the States, but also to vlog parts of my everyday life in here. My name is Matt, and it's been a long aspiration of mine to see the most of this country, as it's a vast and beautiful land. But before anything happens, I want to introduce you to an idea of mine concerning the regional division of America. You see, I'm a fan of American quarters. I once collected a bunch of them, including those that are unique to each state. I glued the quarters onto a map of the United States and I accidentally arrived onto something like this. I noticed that the coins form patterns which neatly divide the states into distinctive regions. Let me show you this on another map. This is actually the same map I used for the quarters but I tune it up a little just to show you my idea. So, coming from west to east, we got Washington, Oregon, Nevada, California, and they form the Thunderbolt states because this shape uh, it resembles a Thunderbolt, at least to me. Let me enlarge this. Then we got Idaho. Utah, Arizona, they form little bow states. Then we got Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, they form mid bow states. And then we got North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. And they form what I call the spinal states or the backbone states because if you look at the shape, it actually resembles a spine a lot. Here it's got this curve, just like a spine naturally has. And it's also like in the middle of the United States, just like the spine or the backbone is, is in the middle of every, every single creature that has got a spine. And then, to me at least, Texas, it looks like pelvis. It really does. And so, as they are in the middle, they neatly divide the states into the west and the east. And if you take a look here, there's a line which will be perfectly dividing the states into the north and the south. If it wasn't for Nevada and California. So next we got Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, and Louisiana. And they form what I call the Grand Bowl states. Coming to here we got Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan. And they form the crab head. Because it really resembles to me a crab's head. It really does. And then next, coming to the red, we got the loop states. Beginning with Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Kentucky, and Tennessee. So we have covered practically the entire nation with exception of Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut. And it's a funny thing about Connecticut because if you look at its spelling it says <laughs> connect I cut, so <laughs> yeah. Then Rhode Island, New York, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont. And they form what I call the JT states. Because if you look at the shape, it's like a J. And the line between New York and Rhode Island forms a T. So yeah, JT states. So we've arrived at the last category, the ninth category. As all of those are eight. And that's the ninth, beginning with Maine. And I'm calling these states the lone states as they stand by themselves 
and they don't form any pattern with any other states. So main, and then we got Florida, Hawaii, and Alaska. Now you may wonder why the states are colored the way they are. And that's because this is the traditional or the official division of America into regions as dictated by official sources beginning with the Census Bureau and according to them the yellow here this is the West and Alaska and Hawaii are also counted to the West what kind of makes sense because they are in the Western Hemisphere but to my mind they are so remote from the rest of the states that they should be counted as something separate like the Commonwealth of America of the United States or something like that but then it, this uh, that would mean that there would be 48 states instead of 50 and I guess 50 looks and sounds better I guess so moving on to the red this is the south and here I wonder why Kentucky is counted as, as part of the south because to me it looks more like some kind of fungus or tumor on top of the states but I don't know maybe in Kentucky there are also huge fans of country music or they drink a lot of iced tea maybe that's why it's also part of the south but that's how it is now we move to the blue which is the Midwest. I've always associated this region with the actual crop head, but I guess it makes sense that those states are included into it as well, beginning with Minnesota, as Midwest is mostly associated with severe winters, and Minnesota is one of the coldest states. And some say that apparently it's even colder than Alaska is, so yeah cold 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 that's the midwest so moving to this color this is the mid atlantic and i had trouble with the states because with this region because different sources say different tell different things about it and some divide it into uh, the northeast and the southeast some sources also include these states into the south for some reason but I keep it like this this is the mid-atlantic region and then finally we got New England so this is the traditional or the official division of America into regions and now let's jump into my division of America into regions so that's how it is and you can see here the crop head I deliberately made this part of Michigan black just that you could see the crop head in its entire glory so now we can talk about uh, my journey my travels where I want to go but I rather prefer to tell you right now where I don't want to go I'm definitely not going to Alaska and Hawaii I simply have no interest in them and the so-called lower 48 states have always been the actual America to me but even here I don't intend to go everywhere and you can bet that I'm not going to California I've been there already and the state is beautiful there are many places to go and see but at the same time it's so awkward and expensive that it makes you want to skip it all together I might revisit it in some future but for now I want to give this state a rest so I'm also not going to uh, large city, cities such as New York, uh, Boston, Chicago, Los Angeles. Oh, I mean obviously I'm not going to Los Angeles as I'm not going to California. But I've also been to Los Angeles and to be honest I didn't like it too much. So thank you Los Angeles, thank you California. So the reason I'm not going to large cities is that just they are simply logistically difficult and I've got a van and a trailer so it could be difficult to park it also could be dangerous so this time I'm skipping large cities some other time I'm simply sticking to the small time America 
to the rural America, like small to mid cities, towns, and I'll be following two lane blacktops, so no interstate highways, just small time America. And right now I want to stick mostly to the west. I may also go to some of the uh, backbone states and as far but not further than Illinois but we'll see but mostly to the west I also want to see the east as well because it's got plenty of cultural and historical value but the west has got plenty of natural beauty and I simply want to go with that for now so I guess that's all I want to show you and tell you in this little introduction of mine and next time I'll be showing you the actual America so stay tuned and catch you there hiker